Hello there folks, my name is Spooks and welcome back to another episode of Box Office Chat. This is the show where I break down the top 5 domestic box office results, see where each movie landed and see how well each movie did. So let's get started. Number 5 was Spy X Family Code White opening with 4.8 million this weekend and since it's already open in several international countries it adds to a worldwide total of 44 million dollars. So not a lot to discuss here, this pretty much met my expectations although because this is a more recent, big, popular, beloved anime, I'm honestly surprised it was able to reach this big of an audience because even though I know how massive and popular this anime is, the fact that it was able to crack the top 5 to this degree just shows how really popular it is despite it being a lot more recent than some of the other anime movies we see, you know, like Demon Slayer or My Hero Academia. The fact that this was able to bring out a, why, a large majority of its fan base to theaters for how recent the show is just shows how beloved this show is and how much fans were really anticipating and going to go check it out. Unfortunately though, I don't see this movie looking out too well as once again it is an anime film so it's probably going to be very front loaded meaning it's going pretty much everyone who wanted to see it checked it out this weekend and that's it. No one's going to go back for repeat business or see it further down the road so I do think this is going to suffer the same fate as the other anime films but yeah just like those films the fact that it cracked the top five alone to this degree is still worth celebrating very impressed with this opening number four was the ministry of ungentlemanly warfare opening with 8.9 million this weekend and since it hasn't released in any international countries yet the worldwide total stays the same this is a movie I thought would do a little bit better. I thought, you know, this might tap into what The Beekeeper did earlier this year. You know, a uh, very violent, bloody, ridiculous, R-rated action comedy. But unfortunately, it just didn't seem like that was the case. As It seems like everyone went to those early access showings, but didn't go to check it out on its opening uh, weekend, unfortunately. And unfortunately, this movie, I feel like, is definitely going to struggle because while audiences did enjoy the film it did get an a minus cinema score rating it's not enough to help the film out unfortunately this is a 60 million dollar movie so it's going to need a lot of help down the road uh, in order to at least surpass that budget and with the fall guy the next big action comedy coming out uh, in two weeks as well as the summer movie season officially starting in a, in a couple weeks you know uh, that's going to be a problem. Again, international numbers aren't out yet, so hopefully or maybe the it'll take off internationally and maybe that'll give it the boost to at least surpass that initial $60 million budget, but right now things ain't looking so great for this movie, unfortunately. Number three was Godzilla x Kong, The New Empire, making $9.5 million this weekend adding to a domestic total of $171 million and a worldwide total of $485 million. Another solid weekend for Godzilla x Kong. It only dropped 38% from the previous weekend, which is a really solid hold when you think about it in this stage in the game. And because of that, it's about to surpass a couple more milestones. Uh, worldwide, it is now the second biggest movie of the year. It has surpassed Kung Fu Panda 4 as well as the worldwide side of things, it is now less than 20 million away from surpassing 500 million dollars worldwide, becoming the second film of the year. To do so, it will surpass that pretty much by the end of next week. And on the domestic side of things, it is now 11 million dollars behind Kung Fu Panda 4. We'll see if it can get to there uh, pretty soon. It's definitely looking like it's going to. We'll see how long it takes for it to surpass it in the top five. It may take a while. It may ha even have to do that outside the top five, given the fact that uh, we're headed into the summer movie season and that's where all the big competition this movie is really going to have to face off comes out. But I think it's still going to be able to surpass that and become the second biggest film of the year for however long it holds that title for and yeah just not much more else to say another good weekend for the film it's still the biggest movie out right now and it's gonna i think have at least one more good week left for itself and then that's where it's gonna start losing its luster a bit but as for right now once again still great numbers overall number two was abigail opening with 10 million dollars this weekend domestically and 15 million dollars worldwide 
this is the second biggest opening for a horror film this year, topping Imaginary, The First Omen, and Immaculate, but still sitting behind Night's this was one of the biggest upsets of the weekend for me. I was surprised that the movie didn't do as well as I thought it would. I thought the marketing was solid and I thought the premise was intriguing enough to a lot of people, especially horror fans, that they would probably go out and see it. A lot more of them would go out and see it, but no, not there, there clearly wasn't as much interest in this movie as I, I thought previously, which again, for how slow of a weekend this was, I, that's very surprising to see. And while it's not the most expensive film ever for a horror film it is on the costlier side of things it costed 28 million dollars which for a horror film especially nowadays which go from around five to at most 20 million dollars this definitely needs uh, a bit more help uh for a horror film in the marketplace right now to get where it needs to be so it's really going to need to bring in all kinds of good word of mouth especially with the fact that the next horror film Terrid, uh comes out in a couple weeks so it's going to really need to bring in those audiences however there is a bright side to this as audiences do seem to like this movie it got a b on cinema score which for any other movie would be concerning but for a horror film that's the equivalent of uh, a, an a pretty much for a horror film so you got to judge these things with horror you judge these things on a different scale when it comes to cinema score and not only that but it is the best received horror film of the year so far most of the other ones got c's and c pluses so the fact that this got over that is definitely worth something so hopefully that leads to the word of mouth catching on and maybe this movie finding an audience in the com in the coming weeks i've been seeing some people talking about how much they really enjoyed the movie so who know who knows maybe this movie might turn ship this ship around maybe it might pull a talk to me or a barbarian i think those are in the same vein of where this movie opened maybe this movie will also be able to turn that around and again 28 million dollars that's for a horror film it's a bit on the costlier side but it's not like it's impossible for this movie to get there like say with ministry of ungentlemanly warfare is right now with its opening and its budget so yeah a bit of a disappointing opening but hopefully things turn around for the film there are some things that i see turning around for this movie but still this is a pretty uh subpar opening and finally let's end the video off with the number one movie of the weekend which was once again civil war making 11 million this weekend adding to a domestic total of 44 million and a worldwide total of 50 million dollars in a surprise turn of event, the divisive political A24 film was able to top the box office for two weeks in a row. Just imagine telling yourself that a couple months ago. I, I would find that very hard to believe, but no, it's right here. It seems that the gamble A24 really paid off as the word of mouth is really helping this movie out. It only dropped like 56%, which for the response this movie got, uh, that's honestly not that bad. And in terms of A24's filmography, it is already their fifth biggest film ever. It sits behind Talk To Me, Lady Bird, Uncut Gems, and Everything Everywhere All at Once. And given how so close it is to a lot of those movies' uh, numbers, it's sure to reach number two probably by the end of next week. Who knows? Maybe it might come close or even surpass Everything Everywhere All at Once to become the studio's biggest film ever, domestically at least. And yeah, yeah, it does seem like it's paying off for them once again they took a big risk this was their first time trying to sell a major big blockbuster and it seems to pay off be paying off for them hopefully this convinces them to uh greenline some other uh, more different uh big blockbusters and hopefully they get big solid responses from audiences and the box office as well however the movie still needs to get over that doubling point it's just started to release in a couple international markets so hopefully it starts uh bringing in the big numbers overseas as well i'm not sure how it's gonna do that since this is a very american movie it's dealing with very american uh, problems right now you know uh, so i'm not sure how that's going to translate internationally but if it can do that then yeah I'll, I, i'd still be impressed the fact that it's made this much alone in just two weeks is still impressive it's already made back its 50 million dollar budget again that's just insane to me that this movie was able to do that so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to seeing how much further this movie can go 
who knows how it'll stack up once the summer starts kicking into high gear how it faces off against the bigger blockbusters but yeah things are looking pretty good for civil war right now and those were your top five domestic box office results for this weekend but we're not quite done yet as we've got another week ahead of us and new movies hitting theaters and this weekend we have two new major wide releases the first being unsung hero a new faith-based christian film that tells the story of the smallborn family and how they became the biggest uh christian pop rock band uh ever pretty much now since this is a faith-based film i do think this is going to make uh some pretty solid numbers especially with how this weekend's numbers are there's no chance this doesn't crack the top three of the box office uh given how popular these movies are with their demographic and given the subject matter of this i do think that will uh cause people to be even more curious to hear the story about this band uh but you know uh i said this also about some other faith-based films you know cabrini and ordinary angels i thought those would do a bit better but they didn't really bring the heat either so there is that bit of hesitancy i have with this movie i think it's gonna do uh solid numbers here you know for the type of movie it is but i'm not expecting it to be like jesus revolution last year where it just really took off so yeah i'm expecting good things just not amazing things given how certain uh faith-based films have done this year and seeing how this may follow in the same trajectory uh with those films I just have a feeling that it's probably going to lean more uh, with those films than something like Jesus Revolution. But who knows? I could be wrong. Maybe this movie uh, surpasses, but we'll see. And then there's Challenger. This is a new sports romance film about tennis and the newest film from Luca Guadagnino. This, like Civil War, is a big wild card for me because I can see this movie massively overperforming and exceeding expectations. First off, the marketing for this has been insane i have been getting so many ads and promos for this you would not believe they are really selling this movie there has been so much there's been a big marketing push towards the movie and given the type of movie it is i honestly am here for it you know give some of these smaller films that big marketing push you know what i mean but i also think with the cast you know mike fast john oh, josh o'connor sorry and of course zendaya i think that's also uh going to bring some people into the seats especially with zendaya hot off the success of dune part two i think a lot of her fans and even casual moviegoers are curious to see what her next movie is and the buzz is definitely there i do see a lot and a lot of people talking about this movie and i think we may see some bigger than expected opening weekend numbers and you know with how lackluster this weekend was there's no doubt about it that's going to top this weekend but there's the thing given the type of movie it is and get given the fact that we are about to head into the summer movie season i mean for crying out loud it's the end of april once that's over we're headed right into the summer kick is starting things off with the fall guy this movie's going to need to do a lot to stand out uh, from the big tentpole blockbusters you know it's a smaller uh lower scale type movie you know it's not it doesn't have a, the biggest special effects or the biggest cast or anything it's got Zen, it's got the three main leads but you know that's about it so it's gonna really need the solid word of mouth people are really gonna need to like encourage others to go and check this out to help this movie out and hopefully the movie didn't cost that much because this could also be a big money gamble you know like what would happen with civil war that paid off for them but uh we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens with this movie so yeah a bit of a wild card bit of a mixed bag for me i can see this overperforming and i can see this underperforming but we'll see how well this movie truly does as well as the rest of the movies that land in the top five on the next box office chat and that's going to do it for this week's episode of box office chat what did you all think of the results were you satisfied unsatisfied comment down below and let me know if you like this video hit the like button if you like this channel hit the subscribe button follow me on all the social media links right there and until next time everyone stay sharp